Do -do 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 -do. Magic for normies. Hey, everybody! Hey. It's Magic for Normies! What's it's up? Another episode. Yeah, I know. Hi, I'm Pixie Kitten, and this is my co host, Zuby. Am I pointing uh, the oh, right oh. direction? Nope. No, cause... Nope, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, because on my end, you're pointing that way. So oh. I'm pointing the right direction. <laughs> no, you're not pointing the right direction. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. No. Is it opposite for me, too? Yeah. Oh, you've got it mirrored on my side. Okay. It's confusing. Wow. We're dumb. We're so Pretty dumb. Much. Um. Much. I mean. It, it's, it's okay, though. Hi. Hey, everybody. Hey, Baltan. What's hey, up? Baltan, thanks for joining. Yeah. Um, we're gonna ha we have a really fun episode planned tonight. We're gonna be um talking about uh the different formats in Magic the Gathering because there are yes. there are a lot. Like there are like a million. Um, and really we're, is. we're gonna have some fun games to play. Um, that include opening Ikoria booster packs. Yep, I got a blister pack. Ooh, that's a fancy I, I one. I opened up all my packs with the case that yeah. I had. It was like two weeks ago or something. Yeah, you opened up like 57 packs. No, it was yeah. actually way more than 57 packs. It was a lot, a lot of packs. I don't know how many packs are in a box. Is it, tw is 30, it 36? 36, I think. Okay, and so you opened how many boxes? Six. What's 36 times six? A lot. <laughs> so that's how many booster packs you open but yeah, my fingers were actually a little sore at the end because they were they, they were japanese booster packs and they are a lot harder to open so okay so how do you know that they were japanese booster packs so if you look on the back of a booster pack it'll say if it's made in japan or made in america okay mine says made in japan so yours should be a Japanese one, and that means when you open it up, the rare will probably be like the first couple cards in the big in the front. Yeah, it's the whole thing's backwards. I was like so mm -hmm. confused every time I've opened one. Yeah, that, that's that's how you know it's a Japanese booster pack. Oh, the rares in the front. So it was just printed in Japan as opposed to being printed yeah. somewhere yeah, else. It, well, yeah, instead of printed in America, because you can tell the different card stock. The cardstock is very different compared to, like, if you open up a Japanese booster pack, then you open up a one made in America, you'll feel the difference in the cards. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. I just, I don't know. Never. I just learned about that when I uh, when I got my Theros case back in January. I think it was Baltan was the one who actually told me about that. Baltan would know all about that stuff. He's very smart. Um, Pretty much. Yeah, yeah, he's great. We love Baltan. Um, so anyways, hey, MTG Strategist, what's up, JJ? Thanks for joining. Hey, JJ. Um, yeah, so tonight we're going to talk about, um, first of all, let's just talk about what's been going on in our, our creative lives recently. What's been up with you, Zuby? We haven't had a regular episode in like a month because last time we played EDH yeah. on Magic for Normies. Yeah, yeah, we didn't really have anything to talk about. I mean, there was stuff we could have talked about, but it was like, I, I, I don't know. It felt like it would have been forced, and I didn't really want to do that. Yeah, um, same. And it's, so yeah, we played some awesome games of EDH. That's and, always um, fun. But yeah, as far as what's been going on with me, been I built like three new EDH decks, or four, <laughs> or five, five, I don't know, something like that. Oh my and gosh. Then, <laughs> okay. And then I've had some really awesome interviews on my Magic with Zuby podcast. Oh, nice, nice. I had the lovely ladies, Leslie and Shauna from Tap That MTG Ooh, on my show. Great. And that episode's officially coming out tomorrow as of this recording. Oh, tomorrow. Can't wait to listen to that one. And then I had a little known guy from Wizards of the Coast uh, named Gavin Verhey come on the show. Who? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's he, he's he's an up and comer. <laughs> oh my gosh! No, that's awesome. Uh, I'm sure yeah. that was an excellent interview. Oh, do you want to know what happened during the middle of the interview? Sure. And 
and I'm going to leave it in, uh, though I do need to edit it out a little bit. Someone rang my doorbell in the middle of the interview. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so... Like five minutes into the interview, someone rings my doorbell, and I'm just like, Seriously? I just want to come out there and be like, what the do you want right now? <laughs> I'm interviewing Gavin! Don't you know how important this is? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. No, but he was totally cool about it. So that episode Good. comes out next week. Ooh. Uh, next Friday. That's exciting. Uh, just Yeah, just in time for the Command Fest, the online Command Fest. Sweet. Um, yeah, that does sound like some good interviews coming up. I'm excited yeah. to watch them. Watch and or listen. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Are you going to put videos that, out for those? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll have the videos out as well, too. Okay, good. Um, uh, other than that, I mean, I've got some other interviews lined up, possibly. And then um, I won't nice. say who. Not until they're Confirmed. actually done and complete. Sure. Yeah. And then that's about it. What about you? Um. Didn't you just recently come out with a video? I did last week. What, it was the quarantine one. It was. Oh, it was um Soren. What Soren's been doing in quarantine? Yeah. For quarantine. It was. Oh, yeah. it was tips. For getting through quarantine from Soren Markov. Yes, that's what it was. That that came out last week. <laughs> um, so that was kind of that was kind of inspired by the did you see the Tolarian Community College video with all the cosplayers? And I saw it, but I didn't watch it. <laughs> I saw it came out. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's that inspired my Soren video, so I thought that would be fun. Okay. Um that's kind of what it was. Just a lighthearted, like, silly video. Like all my videos are. Um, so, so I do have a question for you. Yeah. And hopefully it's not too personal. Yeah. Um, do you actually practice yoga? I do. Yes. I do oh, practice nice. yoga. How long have you been doing it? Uh, several years, but I'm out of practice right now, if I'm completely honest. I should be working out more during the quarantine, but it's, it's not happening. Oh, it's not workout, happening. I went to the gym for the first time, like since February. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and it was great. I did oh, an good. hour of cardio. Okay. Uh, it's been, I mean, like, I know I definitely gained weight and all that shit. And it happens. Well, it was a stressful time back in like March and April and all that. Like, it we has had no been. idea what the hell was gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, and honestly, like, we still have no idea what's gonna happen. So, yeah, I feel like at least I don't know how things are in Tennessee, but I know in Florida things are slowly starting to get back to normal, mm -hmm. and it's starting to feel like okay mm -hmm. in a sense you know like i know there's still people catching the coronavirus and all that but mm -hmm. it's i feel like we're at least here in florida i feel like we're in a better position to manage it that's good good um yeah i already worked from home so honestly like the quarantine was not that much different for me um yeah but Wait, but it, yeah. yeah and so was i yeah you can tell people are starting to get back to normal a little bit, but um, yeah, it, it has definitely been a very stressful few months. So getting back to the gym, yeah. that's great. That's that's good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, one other question about yoga. Have yeah. you ever done hot yoga? I have. I have done hot yoga one time, and I will never <laughs> do it again. I've wanted ever. to try that. Well. Because I used to do yoga, like, back when I was in martial arts a lot. I used to oh. do, like, a bit of yoga cool. and all that. Cool, yeah. Um, and I, I would have to say, like, the days that we would do yoga, I hated it. Like, I loved um, it, but it was, like, I, I hated it at the same time because it was so freaking hard. It, it really is. Like, that's – I really love yoga. That's my favorite way to work out. I, I don't like to do – any sort of cardio or anything like that because I'm, <laughs> I'm like lazy about that sort of thing but yoga is like deceptively really hard like really yes. hard um but I really enjoy it because rather than like 
pushing myself to do like 50,000 burpees or something, I'd rather just hold a position for like three mm-hmm. full minutes. I, I don't yeah, know. What, for me, right. that's is, easier. Yeah, it's you are right. It's way harder than it looks. Yeah. It's, um, and I've always wanted to try hot yoga. I don't think there's any hot yoga places around here, even before the pandemic or anything like that. And well, in Florida, just you heard... just go outside and it's hot yoga, right? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I've heard like they make it really, really hot though, like 120 degrees or something like that. Or I don't. I think I don't think it's 120 because I think you would probably be dead. It is like close to 100, if I remember correctly. It was absolutely miserable. Like, I hated it. Like, I legitimately was like, I'm going to pass out. Like, I had to leave early. Like, I was like, I am going to pass out if I don't get out of this room. Because it's like super hot, even if you're not working out. Like, it's 100 degrees in an enclosed space wow. with still air like there's no fans the air is not moving it's it's oppressive like it's awful i hated it i know a lot what of people would, love it but yeah I've, I've heard a lot of people would would clothing that would help absorb sweat help it out more you think or or no what wait what Cloth well, would clothing know, help you're not naked no, no, no i'm not no i mean <laughs> I mean the type. Of, <laughs> no, not that. I meant the type of clothing, like workout clothing, that absorbs sweat. No, it wouldn't like, help. It will. It will make. It will not make a difference because literally, li- liquid is pouring out of every pore in your body. Like you're not just sweating. Like you're completely soaked from your own body sweat. I don't know how we got off on this topic, but like you're drenched in your body sweat. <laughs> From head to toe. One more question. Okay. Is it a dry heat or a humid heat they have in there? Uh, Let me remember because it's been a few years. I'm pretty sure it's a dry heat. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah. Screw that. No, I wouldn't be able to do it. (laughs) (laughs) If it was more humid, I'd be able to last maybe like five minutes. It's awful. (laughs) Like, I went like... I went to a class with with a couple of my friends because they were like, let's go do this. And I was like, yeah, I do yoga. This should be fine. But should we, yeah, we, we just stayed there for like half the time. And the, like halfway through, the teacher was like, now is the time where folks who need to leave at this point can leave. And we're going to do yoga for another hour. And I was like, I am out of here. Like, I'm not staying for another hour. Like, I have to go. It was awful. Like, I was really lightheaded. It, it was really bad. I, I, I had a bad experience. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. But, I, but regular yoga, I really like. And, you know, Soren does yoga, too. You, everybody knows that now because of my video. So. Yeah. 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 And until until um, crap, what, what was what was it at the end of the video where he starts singing in a Um like, Oh, that was that was, that was the meditation. That was the meditation. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. Soren's like, I no, that. I can't go that far. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so I did that. I had that video come out, and then also I got um. I'm not sure if you remember, but I got um some new. Uh, avatar artwork made from inkling customs and i got tokens with my artwork oh, that's right yeah so i have like a whole stack of tokens and i'm gonna be um sending sending them out to my patrons and i'm gonna have to think of a really fun way to do to to give some out to to other folks who might want some because um you know, they're not, like, having events or anything anymore where you can, like, give them out at events and stuff. Because I was planning on going to Vegas this year, but I'm, like, 99.9% sure, sure that's happening. not happening. So I have to think of a way to give away some tokens. But they're, like, super cute. And I love now, the artwork. Are they, um, are they sort of, quote-unquote, blank tokens? Like, you could... Right. Like, power toughness yeah, board? like, you can here at the bottom. Okay. Okay. If you wanted to. Sure. That's cool, though. Yeah. So I got those tokens in. And um, that's about it. 
I'm hoping to get to play some EDH again with you. Yes, yes. <laughs> I need to. I need to put out the signups for, for that. I know. I know. We were supposed to do EDH Tuesday, but then yeah, uh, you know, it that felt cabin guy. Sure, I know, right? <laughs> but it's fine. Um, I made a cat's deck. I have a cat's EDH deck now, and oh, nice. I'm working on my rat's EDH deck. It's laid out. And I've got most of it put together, but I'm lacking a few cards that I'm looking for on Card Sphere. And I've got a couple already coming to me, so I will have that one put together soon, too. That one's going to be fun. It's like mono black, so it's going to be, like, real gross, but I love it. So I've been, uh, when I was talking with uh, Leslie and Shauna, yes. we were we were all talking how we all want to do like cats when yes. it's you me and those two sure um they also made a really good mention of instead of just four people four player cats it should be cats rats dogs and squirrels oh my gosh yes <laughs> that would be so fun now, now i need to make a squirrel deck yeah are there a lot of squirrel cards a lot of older squirrel cards and they're pretty expensive oh so so you got this it's fine <laughs> <laughs> sort of kind of no that would be fun awesome. though that would be a yeah, that would. that would be a yeah that would be silly and great i would enjoy that very the, much and see who wins probably the cats would win because they're freaking or or no the rats no the rats can be freaking yeah pretty crazy kind of nasty I don't know. yeah I don't know either. We'll have to try it and find out. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So but I think I, that's it for me. Is was there anything else for you? No, that's it. I don't have anything else going on. Just doing my thing, you know. Living my best yeah. life out here. So in, let's talk about yeah, in quarantine. <laughs> let's talk <laughs> about Magic the Gathering formats. Um so there's a new format, Gladiator, that I've been seeing, mm -hmm. getting some sort of buzz around, and our friend Muhammad's been talking about it some. He plays it. Yes. Um. So I guess it's an arena format, and let me read like the definition for it. Um, okay. It says, Gladiator is a homebrew singleton format that's currently supported by community mm -hmm. members, so it's not like an officially sanctioned format, I guess. But, yeah. but whatever. Um, it uses all the cards from Arena's available card pool, including the Arena-specific cards like Inspiring Commander, the historic added cards like Captain Sisse, and the sets that have rotated out. Decks are comprised of 100 card singleton decks, except for basic lands. Um, the only banned card is 3 mana Oko. There are no sideboards, no companions, no commanders, and no wish ward effects. Apart from that, everything is fair play. Huh. So that sounds interesting. I th I feel like everybody loves a singleton format, honestly. Yeah, because it's it's um, especially when they had singleton early on in arena, it was it felt a lot more fun because not mm -hmm. everybody's card pool was huge. Right. With it, and you yeah. only need one of each one of each card. Yep. Um, I feel like that's what brawl was trying to do. Mm -hmm. But I feel like brawl has been kind of. Meh. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think so too. And you know, people have just been really upset about having to pay for Brawl whenever it's not Wednesday. Like people want to play Brawl all the time. And then when they have, oh, you can play Brawl all the time. You have to pay 20,000 gold or whatever. And so I think for those well, reasons, it's... Brawl... Yeah. yeah, they're doing Brawl for free for arena like during the quarantine and all that yeah um that they have it all the time but yes e even when you go to play it it's just like the same commanders over and over and over again really because like i mean i don't i'm not really playing brawl out in the queue if i ever play it i'm i'm playing it in a direct challenge but there are yeah. like so many available commanders and really like you're just seeing the same ones over and over again well, I mean, it, think of it like standard. You're only going to see the same kind of decks over and over again. You're going to see mono red or mono white or yeah, I guess whatever, so. whatever is popular. Yeah. Because people just want the quick and easy wins, which 
you can't fault them for that when it's especially when it's a one-on-one -on -one format like that yeah and not multiplayer i guess so um but with gladiator where it's not just standard it's every card available on arena that that i feel like you probably have a lot more room for variety with that yeah yeah for sure especially you have no commanders no companions no yeah. sideboard nothing fancy nothing like that. the the only thing i guess i'm a little i wouldn't say shocked but more like curious is why they banned oko mm -hmm. and when it's not something like you'd be able to get oko consistently right unless you tutor up for it and how strong is oko in something like this where brawl he was super strong in brawl because mm -hmm. you'd be able to just turn the commander into a 3-3 elk but sure i mean i don't that's the only thing i don't agree with but it seems like it's definitely a format worth trying out though yeah um and i guess there's like a discord for it and everything too so i don't know it sounds it sounds like something that might be fun for normie casual players because like you said a singleton you only have to have one copy of of the card you want to play so i don't know it might be worth trying out sometime yeah yeah maybe worth like doing a i don't know maybe a stream night one time just trying going it. up doing some gladiator and yeah um and then it, it's for people who don't like the sound of it maybe just try to imagine it like commander without the commander <laughs> commander without the commander yes yeah and um there you have it and i don't know it's i, I like that i like that the community is trying to build up formats like this because mm -hmm. now that historic is permanent in arena that mm -hmm. makes things a lot better mm -hmm. but it's good for the community to try to come up with stuff like this because let's be honest standard can get really dull sometimes mm -hmm. and even historic can get dull sometimes and yeah all can get dull so it's cool to have options yeah so mm -hmm. you're mentioning historic let's talk about that one as a format um i don't even remember like what the sets are that historic goes back to so historic is sort of like arena's version of legacy or vintage it's all the sets that are currently available in magic arena mm -hmm. so it goes all the way back to ixalan is the oldest ixalan? Set. okay yeah. i was trying to remember and, and, then, and now they're doing those historic anthology sets mm -hmm. as well oh yeah yeah have a lot of the older magic cards mm -hmm. in them like i just i just bought the new one with with my gold and um got it's got Ulamog in it, which mm. is great. Being able to cast that, um, and it's got a whole bunch of other fun cards as well, too. I mean, they're all they all have really fun cards. And all yeah. That. Um. Sets. Now, his historic is an arena only format, right? Yes. You wouldn't like play that in paper. Nobody plays that in paper. No. You could, but, I mean, but it would could, be weird. But... Yeah, you, you you wouldn't be able to like go to your LGS and be like, "Hey, let's play oh, some historic." They got my historic like, deck here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I haven't played much historic, but I know people really like it, and I think, um, I think there's a lot of folks unhappy with standard right now, so they're going to historic. And which is they finally made it permanent. Finally. Yeah, that and that's definitely a nice alternative for sure. It's good to have some yeah. options. That's pretty much what I've been playing in Arena the past oh, few good. months. Oh, good. Nice. That's where you saw me. Um, oh, I, I posted yeah. in, in my Discord that, that Lich's Mastery deck. And nasty. Where, yeah. Real uh, it, nasty. It's a terrible deck, but you can do infinite turns in it. Hey, Jay Brown. Infinite turns are not a good thing. But it's really hard to do. It takes like five cards to be able to do it. It's, it's not like a one card combo. What is there a one card combo? Is that a thing? For infinite turn, well, Nexus of Fate was. I, I think Nexus of Fate is banned now. That was that seven mana, take an extra turn, and that's one turn and, though. Yeah, but the thing is, it doesn't go in your graveyard. It goes back in your library. So what you do is you try to draw up the card again, over and over again, yeah. to take the extra turn. Yeah, no, it's definitely obnoxious. 
Nexus of Fate is for sure. Um, oh yeah. What are some other formats? So what what formats are you do you play in that you're familiar with? Me, um, I'm familiar with standard, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, I'm familiar with EDH now. Mm -hmm. um, You've been playing it way more. I have. I for so long I fought against it. I didn't want to. Everybody was like, "Oh, you need to play EDH," and I'm like, "Okay, shut up." Um, <laughs> <laughs> because that's how I am. But now that I do play it, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I'm familiar with uh, the, the, um, a brawl. I mean, I know what brawl is. I don't yeah. play brawl very much, but I know what brawl is. And, uh, the, the limited, the limited ones, like sealed and, uh, and draft. Dra like booster draft. Yeah. Familiar with those. Um, I mean, the older formats I've heard of, but, like, modern and legacy, but I've never played them or even looked into them at all. Yeah, they're, <clears throat> like, the older formats, like, so standard is always going to be the past two years of Magic sets. It's, mm -hmm. That's how it's always been. They tried to change it at one point, but really? everybody hated it. Oh. Yeah, they tried... They tried to do a uh, rotation two times a year instead of once a year. And that Oh, failed. dang. That would be so often. Yeah, it was like every six months and people hated it because it felt like you didn't get to play with the cards enough. Right? You only had like a small window of time. Yeah, so that would suck. Of, um, so instead of the fall set being available for two years... In standard it would only be available for a year and a half and then you look at the winter set that would only be available for about a year and then the spring set would only be available for less than a year essentially so you, the the older in the summer set would be only available what was it like six months or something like that oh gosh it, it's I, I i probably got it wrong at some point i can't remember exactly how it was but they did it once and they immediately changed it back after they did it the one time <laughs> okay that's good yeah that seems really that seems like too fast like yeah, yeah i totally agree that you wouldn't get to play cards yeah so modern modern was actually a format that i used to play a lot of um until it just got way too expensive to keep up with mm. um, modern is every set from eighth edition and up Okay. So 8th edition to Ikoria and not including Conspiracy, Battle Bond, and um, Commander sets. And so Modern has like specific archetypes though, right? Yeah, yeah like, just, just like standard. Okay, yeah. So, but those are like always the decks that you're pretty much going to see. Well, not for the past year. Because um, what, what it used to be was you could build a modern deck. Let's say your average modern deck before all this craziness of Modern Horizons. Your average modern deck could cost anywhere from $500 to $1,500. But the thing was, that was like a one-time cost. And you'd be able to play your play deck. Play it forever. And, and play, play it. Forever. I, I don't want to say forever. It'd be way longer than a standard deck. And you'd only have to make small changes to it every so often because gotcha. the new cards coming out. Mm -hmm. What happened was last year of Modern Horizons, when a lot of the really powerful cards like Hogak and Urza and whatever the heck else came yeah. out, it just it changed the format so drastically that it was now people were having to spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars just to keep up mm. with everything because the decks before were being phased out and then when throne of eldraine came out of course you had oko once upon a time veil of mm -hmm. summer mm -hmm. um and that just priced more people out over I, I pretty much stopped playing modern right after modern horizons came out mm. i sold out of it did you play at your lgs yeah we used to have a really healthy modern scene before mm. modern horizons and then th that and throne of eldraine pretty much killed it oh <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Sorry about that. 
I used to have three modern decks, but I sold them all. Oh. Or, no, or four. Yeah, because I had Grix's Delver, which was a fun control deck. Mm -mm. It was... Mm -mm. It, I, I don't know if you know the card Delver of Secrets. Yeah. I, actually, I do. You it's a blue such... card. Yeah, and, and you flip it over and it becomes a 3-2 flyer. You pay one for it. Used to be such a powerful card, and now that card looks like a piece of crap nowadays. <laughs> um, and it, it was so good. So, like, by turn two, you could have a 3-2 flyer that you could just start beating face mm -hmm. with it. And that would that deck would also have Snapcaster Mage, um, mm. Young Pyromancer, a um, whole bunch of counter spells and mm -mm. burn spells mm -mm. Mm -mm. and all that. No. I know, I know. <laughs> what what uh, else did you have? What other modern decks did you have? I had Elves. Elves was okay. so much fun with Collected Company. Be able to just win by turn four or turn five, which that was fast back in the day. That is fast. <laughs> I mean, I um, think that's fast, but yeah, I guess it's really not when you think about it. Anymore. Yeah. I, I don't even know what is played in modern anymore. I have no idea. Mm. Um, and then I used to have goblins oh. in modern, which were really fun. Is um, that mono red? Yeah. Yeah, I think it was mono red. I think so. Okay. If, if not, then I may have splash white for a card called lightning helix, oh. where it deals three damage and you gain three life. Oh. I may have. I can't remember if I if I splashed that or not. It's, it's been so long since I played that. <laughs> um, and then I had um. Oh, oh, yeah, my blue-white control deck. Zuby! <laughs> what the hell? I only played that when it, when it was super competitive, and then I think I took it to, like, two, two Magic Fest, and then I was tired of playing it. it, it that is a mentally draining deck. Oh, my God. Like, you don't understand how many times I'd go to time with that deck. Oh, where... really? Because... Yeah. You just, huh. You didn't know what to do or what? No, it's just the win con was so slow in that in that deck. Hmm. Just had to do a lot of thinking. Yeah. That sounds awful. Like that. that sounds terrible. Yeah. Like, I'm not being sarcastic. Like, I would hate to play a deck like that. <laughs> That's what, there's certain times where... Like, when we're playing EDH, there's certain decks I don't want to play because of the amount of triggers they have. Like, mm. Ayara. Ayara is a good example. There's so many freaking triggers to remember. Yeah. <laughs> you you see you're getting called normal. out for not being a normie, right? Hey, hey, I've mentioned in this show <laughs> that I am now a normie. I'm no longer competitive. I don't do any of that. I, I used to... I've told you before, I, I originally made my podcast because I wanted to be competitive and all yeah. that. Yeah. Now I'm like, yeah. I'm, I'm done with that. Yeah. You, you've backslid in into normie territory now. Yeah. I have no desire to be competitive at all. I've... Yeah. Me either. So here we are. Normies. Yeah. So that's modern in a nutshell. Oh, okay. Well, that's lovely. I don't think I'll be joining the modern scene anytime soon. It's, it's too expensive now. I, and with uh, Pioneer, the next format, we'll mm -hmm. mention that's, yeah. been, that's been sort of taken over modern. Um, Pioneer is the new format that WotC came out with that starts with Return to Ravnica, I think. Return to Ravnica on yes. to, all the way to Ikoria. Yes. I remember that one. That that one came out like last year. Oh yeah, it did. Yeah, that's right. I was I was in the community <laughs> then. That's wow! You were. You wow! Were. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I have no desire to play it though, I, unless it came to either. Arena. I would play it. That would be fun. They'd have to they'd have to back add some old sets though for sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they already have they already have Kaladesh and Amonkhet. And there, that was available close. during beta. Mm. Yeah. So, hey, Leslie from Tap That MTG. Hi. We were just talking about you earlier. Yeah. Did we you were. Forget? No, I didn't. <laughs> hey, is it raining outside? Can you bring my plants in? Yeah. Sorry, oh, everybody. 
I'm growing some herbs, um, and I think it's like storming outside. So. Oh no. Mr. Kitten's gonna bring him in. Don't you? Don't you all worry about it. They're gonna be okay. <laughs> They're fine. Um, yeah. So Pioneer is. You said return to Ravnica forward. We hope they bring that to Arena because that would be fun. But otherwise, I'm I'm not gonna play Pioneer. Sorry. Yeah. I mean, just being a newer player, like I just don't have the cards. I mean, I guess you could always get them, but yeah. eh. But th but then it's you also got to think about it for people like this that aren't competitive. Mm -hmm. If you really say you want to, you find a pioneer deck you really like and you want to build it. One, you really got to ask yourself, how often are you going to play that deck? Mm -hmm. Like, be honest. It's yeah. And how often are you going to go to an LGS or a magic fest or something or who knows where Yeah, um, and be able to play that deck, you know? Yeah. Um, it'd be different if you were wanting to play it on magic online because yes, it's, way cheaper on magic online and, and, and a lot more accessible especially right now you can't yeah. go to an lgs and play anything or much, go to yeah. a magic fest because they're not happening yeah, and i feel like with commander it's a bit different because not only do we have the ability to play commander online because there's that site spell table for yes. it um, yep and plus with commander it's I don't know, it's just a lot more fun because you know that kind of deck that you build in commander even if it may not be the top tier or commander deck or whatever it's it's your brand of deck that you built it mm -hmm. reflects you as a person mm -hmm. and you you could build that deck and never ever touch it again and i'm sure you could still do fine with it yeah um yeah i like commander because what we talked about earlier Mm -hmm. Like, with it being singleton, you only have to have one mm -hmm. copy of every card. That's really nice. Um, and Super. I just like the variety. Like, just everybody plays a totally different deck. As as far as my experience with it goes, like, it's just a lot of fun. You never know what you're going to be playing against. And oh, yeah. so I kind of like... As opposed to standard, where you kind of like, oh, I know these are like the five, the f four or five decks that everybody's playing, and you, if to, if you want to be like really good at it and climb the ladder or whatever, you've got to know what are in other people's decks, even if you're not playing that deck, you got to know how yeah. to how to win against it. But like with Commander, it's just like I have no idea what the hell this person has in their deck, so we're just gonna go for it. Mm -hmm. And half the time with Commander, it it's I like it more because even though the goal is to win in your pod, right? Yeah. It's it's nice to win, but even if you don't win, you can you still can. have a lot of fun. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. There's you could do something really, really wild or, or wild, yeah. and if you still lose, it's like oh well, at least I got to do that cool thing. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you for the follow, Leslie. Oh, Yay. Thank you. Yeah, like even if you don't win, you still get to be like, oh, I got to do that cool thing. Like I killed Zuby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got that a lot last weekend. Jesus, even, even my kid was going after me. Yeah, we're just, <laughs> it's just, we're just ganging up on you out of love. I mean, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's just all it is. Yeah, Le it's Leslie fun. killed me at one point with her cat deck. Um, <laughs> she says it was fun. She said it was fun. And yeah. it is fun. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fun. Just wait. Just wait. I'm going to bring out okay. Grand Arbiter one day. Please and don't. And just not allow you to play Magic. And I'll win via Approach of the Second Sun. No. I don't want to go through that. <laughs> I don't want to go through that. Neither do I. It's actually pretty painful. I I, <laughs> okay, I, I only like bringing that deck out against my friends who like to play their dumb combo decks. Mm. Where you have to play something like that against it. Yeah, because I want them to understand, like, no, I'm not going to allow you to do your dumb combos. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um. Okay, so some other formats, like, okay, I've never even heard of this one, Tiny Leaders because it was a flash in the pan and What's i don't that? think anyone plays it anymore but 
holy crap, was it like the most popular format for six months? How many years ago? Like four or five years ago, I think. It was um, obviously before I started. <laughs> I can't remember when it actually came out. I want to say like during Magic Origins or something. Or mm. um, So Tiny Leaders is basically... I want to say it's a 60 card singleton format that's basically commander. Your commander cannot be a higher converted mana cost of four or greater. And every single card in your deck cannot be higher than three converted mana cost. What? Yeah, it, and it was a. And people loved it so much. Like That it, sounds dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I never, never, I never ever built a deck, but um, it was like at my LGS at the time, like the entire shop was playing it for like two, three months and then everyone stopped. I mean, I'm not trying to be rude, but like, that sounds really dumb. Well, look, okay, it sounds dumb. Yeah. But at the time, the magic community <laughs> was like, this is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> was it so what were the cards you could build from it wasn't standard it was just like everything just like commander no, it, it, it just like commander like every single set okay um but you couldn't have in your main deck you couldn't have any card that costs three or more uh... and then your commander couldn't cost four or more no or no no your commander could cost four it couldn't be five or more in your and your main deck couldn't be four or more. I think. And I was there still a commander tax every time you played your commander? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's basically... It, it was basically commander with 60 cards. Okay. But it, it, like I said, and, and part of the joke, you'll sometimes see Magic players talk about Tiny Leaders Kamigawa as well. Because... And, and, and the reason why Kamigawa, people say that is because Kamigawa was such a terrible set oh. in terms of power level. Like, uh, oh, e even though there's a lot of good cards from those sets, mm -hmm. um, but it was notoriously bad at the time. Oh, dang! All right, well, I'm going to be honest. I'm glad that format just died. Yeah, it um, like I said, it. I I can't believe how popular it was, and then it just died. Like yeah. that quickly. That's weird. That's really weird. Yeah, and then the next format, pretty much the exact same sort of thing with uh, Tiny Leaders. But it did last a little bit longer than Tiny Leaders, and that's Frontier. Oh! For, and, and I would have actually liked for Frontier to sort of take what Pioneer is. Because Frontier was... They make... The people who ever made Frontier, they made it before um, Pioneer was ever a thought in Watsi's brain or anything. Mm -hmm. They made it back when, um, what set was that? I don't even remember. Like, maybe Kaladesh was out or something? Okay. I, I honestly can't remember. Um, maybe, maybe Baltan remembers, like, when Frontier came out. Mm -hmm. um, but, so Frontier is basically the, was at the time the new modern that started from Magic Origins up to the current set and standard. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. That Japanese um, game store created it. Hyru... I, I don't know how to pronounce it. Hyru... Ru Ruya? <laughs> uh, that, I, it, I'm not going to try what, to pronounce what Efren, it. Yeah, what Efren just said. That, that <laughs> it's, a ja gotcha. it's a very well-known Japanese uh, game store. Okay. In, in Japan. Um, th they're like the the channel fireball of japan or something oh cool ha re ruya he, he just keeps typing it like as if that's gonna uh. make a difference <laughs> so frontier i actually built a frontier deck and played a little bit of it because it was it was a fun format um but just like tiny leaders it didn't die as quickly as tiny leaders but it kind of faded away mm. dang sad but i feel like I feel like it would have, um, I, I like the idea of starting at Magic Origins and going to the current set of standard, because while Return to Ravnica, Theros, and Khans have a lot of good cards in there, uh, I feel like Magic Origins is a good starting point. 
because that's when they uh, change the frame of the magic card on that set. Mm. Gotcha. Um, so what else we got? There's... There's Legacy. Legacy is every single set in... Um, in magic but they have a they have a really big ban list like they don't have the power nine. Oh. Um, uh there's a whole bunch of other cards too gotcha um, i i did have a legacy deck at one point uh legacy elves it was a combo deck that could win by like turn three. Oh my god wow yeah yeah you you'd poop out a lot of elves and then you'd play <laughs> uh then you'd combo out crater hoof behemoth by turn three and just swing and win Oh my god. Yeah. It was a fun deck, but I loved playing that deck. I used to love playing Legacy, and then I can't remember what happened, then just Legacy completely died in my area. Oh. it's I, so, I hear people talking about Legacy, so there are people who so still play it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's super expensive. Like, you're... I don't follow prices anymore, but at the time when I was playing Modern Legacy, modern a good modern deck would cost anywhere from five hundred to fifteen hundred dollars. Legacy would be almost double, triple that. Oh God! But the thing, just like with modern with Legacy, you buy that deck and that's it. You don't have to spend any more money anymore. Hmm. Gotcha. Interesting. And then there's vintage. Okay, which vintage. Is once again every single card ever printed in magic it has a less of a ban list and it they have more of a restricted list meaning you can only have one of one of that restricted card so like black lotus um everybody knows black lotus right yeah um it's that card is not banned it's restricted in it so you can only have one copy in your deck oh wow um, i've never heard about that the restriction of just having one copy that's interesting yeah, it's the only banned cards. I think Luris is now banned for Mycoria um, and Vintage because oh. it was just screwing everything up, I think. <laughs> they were like, um, this just has to go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but the only really banned cards in Vintage are the. It was an old uh, mechanic called Anti. Have you ever heard of Anti before? No. Mm -mm. So, way back in the day um, when Magic first came out, I never played during Anti, but ante was you and a friend would you know have your deck and you'd put aside an ante card meaning whoever won that match would get the ante card what do you mean would get like, like they, would they, they would own it they, they, yeah they would own it they like won that card yep yep so each person playing put a card aside yeah and whoever won got both of the cards why that's just how it was back then like in the very the very very <gasps> beginning of magic why um, it's just i don't know the reason why they got rid of it like very shortly after so but there's still a bunch of cards in alpha and beta that talk about anti um so th those cards are completely banned in vintage um okay and then there's then there's the famous shahrazad card that's banned in vintage as well too Okay. Shahrazad, have have you ever heard of that one? Nope. Shahrazad was a card that you, when you would play it, you would have to stop your game of Magic, pick up your deck, and then play another game of Magic. And whoever won that game of Magic, that that like sub game of Magic, <laughs> no. something would happen or something. I can't remember what. And um. Then you'd go back to the first game of Magic. No. No. <laughs> no. Don't do that. Don't. Yeah. No. What is that? That's so weird. Why? Magic cards were really weird back then. Obviously. Like they, they had no idea what they were doing. Obviously. <laughs> or but it was great. did they? I mean, no, they didn't really know. What they were doing. <laughs> no, no, they didn't. Okay, well, that's cool. No, they they cool. had no idea of a color pie or anything like that. Ah, weird. So, there's also Cube. Yes, that's one of my favorite formats. I've never um, played Cube, but I want to. 
I want to be able to play my cube. I want to share my cube out with people, but it's the only way we'd even be able to do it would be through digital programs that are not very um, good in the eyes of Watsi. Oh. Um, but so cube is basically, so let's say you have a favorite magic set, right? Yeah. Let's say Throne of Eldraine is your favorite magic set ever. Right? Okay. And you want to be able to draft it. It was it was your favorite draft set. And yeah. you want to be able to draft it over and over and over again. It wasn't, but sure, and, yeah. I'm just I know, I know, I know. know. <laughs> so what you would do with a cube is there's a lot of ways to build a cube. You could do, if you want to build it for eight players, you can do a 360 card cube. Okay. And you may, you put the cards in that you want players to be able to draft. Mm -hmm. And you need to try to balance each color all together. Or sometimes... I've seen a lot of people start doing wedge cubes. Like, let's say you don't want blue in your cube at all. Let's mm -hmm. say you just want to no. do um, Jund. You can do a Jund cube mm. and try to make all three of those colors as balanced as possible. And that's the fun of it, really, is mm -hmm. where you find all the cards you want to put in and then try to balance it because you'll start to see, oh, no, black is a little bit too strong. Let gotcha. me take out some black cards. Or instead of taking out black cards, maybe you just make red more stronger too you know? so that sounds really fun because i really love drafting like i really yes. love it that's probably my favorite way to play um but how do you do that with like packs that are already opened so what you would do is basically you so once you assemble your cube here you know let me show you let me show you my cube Hold okay on. let me go get it do it this is the anti-blue part of the show. Because we hate blue. Blue is the worst. Blue is the worst color in magic. We don't ever want to play blue again. Blue could just be completely oh, removed from the face of the earth, and it would be fine. Oh, I forgot I had all these cards in here. Oh, dang it. All these non-cube cards. So, um, it may be a little bit hard to see, but... Oh, here you go. So yep. all these cards in the middle row here is my 360 card cube. Okay. So and and this here is the land station with all the basic lands you would have. Um, nice. All these cards are just cards I Rando. don't have room for anywhere else. Sure. <laughs> right now. Sure. So so um basically what you do when you get your cards assembled in the cube, you have to make what's called draft packs essentially when you're getting ready to um when you're getting ready to maybe have friends over that want to draft. Yeah. Um, and the way to do that is just a lot of randomization and shuffling. And it's... Okay. So you just set it up, like, as if they're in packs. You just have yeah, yeah. random you, you just put, sets of cards. You, yeah, you make, like, a 15-card pile, and then that'll be the quote-unquote pack you draft from. Okay, that's cool. That sounds like fun. I want to do that. It, it is. It's it's a lot of fun. I'll um I'll try to link you my cube, and you'll be able to see certain themes in it. And cool. um, it's it's I think the big the most fun with the cube besides playing it is just building it and trying to balance it make out it work as much as possible. Yeah, yeah. That sounds like fun. I want to play your cube sometime. I know. We're just. When can we meet up? Well, we were going to do that <laughs> when we went to Vegas this year, but we'll just have I, to see. I don't see. even know what I want to do for vacation now this year. I'm just like... I know. Ugh. What can you do? Not much. I know. It sucks. It does. Um, so is that it? Is that all the formats? You know, there's oh, one... Oh, no, there's way more. Yeah, I was going to say, like, you didn't list Popper on here. Oh, I did. Uh, oh, whoops. I forgot Popper. <laughs> Which is fine. Like, it's okay. There really are so many. Um, pop Popper, I've never tried. It's where um, every card is a common, right? Yep. Only commons. Mm -hmm. Have you played Have you played Popper? Yep. I actually have two Popper decks still built. Um, they both have some banned cards because I played it a bunch mm. two, three years ago or whatever. Oh. Um, and I just like playing them, um, I don't just casually. 
Yeah. Like it, if, like if one of my friends wants to instead of play commander or whatever, they have like I don't know, they want to play modern standard or something. Be like, I've got a popper deck, so yeah, and I'll beat them with my popper deck. Oh, dang! <laughs> wow, I'm gonna have to build a popper deck now to try and beat you. They are pretty cheap. Well, well, I, mean, well I assume so. I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't say that. I don't know what the prices of popper decks are now. Maybe mm. they went up too with like everything. It's possible. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Um. But I think. I mean, those are the major formats, right? Pretty much. There's a lot of. Well, the only other formats that I can think of that um. There's a lot more uh, limited formats because there's different mm. ways to draft, like oh, that's draft, right, um, yeah. Um, and um, there's what's the what other one? It's like not Winston draft, but the other one where um, you pick up five cards and then you and then you put you put them in two different piles. You put one in a pile of three and one in a pile of two. Oh, and then you're, oh, and then that. the other person before. has to decide which one they pick. That's the one they get. Yeah, that one's really fun. I forget what that's called. It's like I, I've done Charleston or something. Yes, it is. It's really fun. Um, I like the. Um, I think it's Winston Draft, right? Is Winston Draft the one where you like, you have like a bunch of cards out, like single cards, and you pick one at a time? Yes, it's something? it's where yeah. you have three cards. Three cards laid out. You you have like your whole stack of cards. However many. Oh, oh and they're, six... they're facing up, right? No, they're not facing up. Oh. So when when it's your turn to pick, you can look at the first one and you can either keep it or put it back. And when oh, you when you put okay. it back, you put a card from the pile on top of it. Then you oh, go to the that's, second that's right, one. That's right. You can pick it up. And I'm thinking of rotisserie draft. Rotisserie, like a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> what well, th if, if Rochester I'm, I think it's Rochester or Rochester but maybe Rochester's that. the one where you have the two piles the pile of three and the pile of two maybe I don't I don't remember now yeah anyways like I totally agree there are some really fun limited ways to play I have played both Winston Draft and Rochester and those are super fun to play just at home with two people Yes. Where it's just like you're just gonna pl you're gonna have some sort of janky thrown together thing, but like it's really fun. If I ha if I had my choice, like if I could only play one format of Magic for the rest of my life, it'd be some probably like limited. Yeah. I same. love limited so much. It's don't. Uh oh. I can't hear Zuby. What happened? Hold on, folks. Hold on. Zuby, we lost you. Can you all hear Zuby? Hello? Are you there? Hello? Oh, hey! Yeah, I'm so sorry. It just... I just dropped internet all Okay. Of a sudden. I was like, is it me? Okay, we, no, we got you. We got you back. All right, all right. Sorry, folks. My internet just decided to be dumb. Hey, it happens all the time. With me, at least. Heh. Yeah, no, but I totally agree with you. If I could only... If I was only able to ever play one format ever again, it would be limited. I, I really yeah. enjoy that. I mean, I'm not good at it, but it's just... I just like it more because it's random. Yes. And it's it's just it's just more fun rather than just playing against something yeah, that's like gonna super unique. constructed. Uh, it's going to be a new deck every single time you play it. Yes, 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 yes. I agree. We are in agreement here. I'm going to have to make a cube someday. That sounds really fun. Oh my god, it's so much fun. I'll, I'll link you to my cube so you can see what I have yeah. in it and and Check give it out. You an idea. Yes, yeah. do it. Do it. Um, okay, so that's formats. We did it. We talked about a lot of freaking formats. Yeah, we did. Holy moly. Let's And there's still like 50 more we didn't mention that people are going <laughs> to comment us like, "Why didn't you mention blah whatever? blah blah blah?" Well, 
We we're we we're just normies. We're just doing the best we can, honestly. Yeah, we try. Um, so let's talk about all of the new products that have been announced recently. Oh my god, it feels like so many. It is so many. So double masters. What's that about? So it's gonna be double the rares, double the fun, and double the price. <laughs> <laughs> okay well there you go they're double masters so so this is their i i honestly thought watsi was done with masters i thought um ultimate masters was supposed to be like the last one for a while yeah like didn't they actually say that i thought they did yeah i thought so too but but here we go I, double yeah. masters <laughs> So Double Masters is going to have, it's going to be 15 card booster packs with two rares and two foils inside. Okay. That's pretty cool. Which they have never done that before. Um, Unprecedented. It's going to be a complete reprint set. Oh, I didn't realize that. Everything is a reprint. Yes. Every single card will be a reprint. I don't think there's going to be... A single new card. Is that how Ultimate Masters was? It was all reprints too? Yes. I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, I think it was too. Um, I think all Master sets are reprint sets. Gotcha. If I remember correctly. That kind of yeah, makes they... sense. Yeah. So the cards that they've mentioned so far that are getting reprinted is Doubling Season which, if you just look at that card, how ridiculous it is. Yeah. Especially for counters. And, like, that even counts towards your Planeswalkers, too. So when you plus up a Planeswalker, you're going to get double the amount of loyalty counters. That's nasty. Yes. Um, and then, what was it? That Blake art's Steel pretty Palazzo. cute, though. Yes, the dragons. Yeah. The little dragons. It's adorable. Blightsteel Colossus was the other card, and there's one more. I forgot. Yeah. Dang it, I'm terrible. Oh, Atraxa, I think it was. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Atraxa. Yep, that's right. I'm, I'm surprised they're reprinting that, but... Why? Well, it was it was a commander card. Mm. But, I mean, I guess that makes sense, right? To reprint it, a commander. It's the year of the commander. That is true. That's so, true. yeah. I mean, oh, Kalia. That's the other one. Yes, I remember seeing oh, that. Oh, oh, they mentioned Kalia too? Yeah. I saw okay. some art for that one. Oh, and Mana Crypt. Thank you, Baltian. Oh, Mana Crypt too? Oh, dang. Yeah. Okay, cool. So it's going to be pretty... F- it's going to... I mean, I've... I'm not into, like, this these old sets, but I've heard of most of these cards. So yeah, it, they must be pretty big. A lot of them now were modern and legacy staples and commander staples as well too. Mm-hmm. The um, the well, I, you know, I got a question for you. Um, yep. So, and this is, I guess, this maybe pertains to double masters. I think this sort of pertains to a lot of the stuff coming out with Magic. Do you feel overwhelmed by the amount of stuff coming out? Um. To be honest, no, because I just don't, like, the Double Masters, I literally don't care about it at all. So, it just doesn't even really affect me. So, I don't feel overwhelmed by it. Um, the, the Secret layer stuff that came out... I don't feel overwhelmed by that either. Like, all all of those things are just reprints. Like, they're not even new new cards. So, I, like, you either care about it or you don't, and it just doesn't matter. That's how I feel. I wonder, I wonder if that has to do with you being a new player because... Yeah. I mean, probably so. Because, like, a lot of these cards that are getting reprinted are have been cards that have been one kind of high in price mm-hmm. and have been 
like cards wanted for a lot of different kind of formats not not just commander but mm -hmm. like modern legacy and all that and i wonder if it, that has to do with it because you i mean self admittedly you only play commander and yeah. standard on arena yeah know? i'm not into those other sets like at all or, or other formats like yeah so i just don't care it doesn't well, make mean, a that, difference that to me no that makes sense um it's I was just curious about what your thought on it was because to me it feels like there's more products coming out more than ever like for the past couple years it feels like every month there's something new coming out and yeah it feels like it's hard to just keep up with it all um i i definitely felt i felt overwhelmed when um icoria like previews were out and also the, oh, the commander. commander Ikoria previews yeah. that I was yeah. like I just don't know what's going on here um so that was a little bit too much so if I was like really into these other formats or was looking for some of these other cards yeah I could definitely see how a lot of players would be overwhelmed because it's like every single week there's a new line of products being announced and it is a lot um, because like next week the previews was it next week the previews are coming out for yep. corset, corset the next corset so yeah yep. like it's a lot um but I personally don't feel overwhelmed by it because a lot of it I just don't care about that's fair that's a fair as that's a normie understandable. yeah <laughs> no I think the only I think the only thing that I'm feeling a little overwhelmed with is standard sets right now. because And maybe that has to do with Ikoria. The paper version of Ikoria literally just came out a couple weeks ago. And we're already in core sets coming out next month. Yeah. And see, if the paper version had come out when it was supposed to, we would have already had Ikoria for weeks and weeks. And yeah. that's definitely made a big change for yeah. sure and i didn't even think about that until you just mentioned it but yeah the paper version came out late for ikoria for sure yeah because it feels like ikoria itself as a set has been around forever because of arena <laughs> yes but the paper still feels very new because it is it, yeah, yeah yeah it is <laughs> yeah yeah and now now we're getting corset 2021 and it's like oh shit mm -hmm. <laughs> already yeah and it's it's your boy to fairy i know so because i'm a true normie i really love corsets um but i don't know i'm really scared i'm really scared of this corset I don't as know. As much as i like to fairy and as much as i like the to fairy planeswalkers i'm kind of nervous about this corset because the dominaria teferi was super oppressive yeah the teferi that's out right now in standard super oppressive yeah i really hope this teferi is not oppressive yeah we just want we just want this set to be kind of mild honestly like the whole set please we don't want anything to be yeah. wild um like m20 was pretty wild to be honest it was kind yeah. of because you met, you remember the elementals deck go, decks going around and the yes. field of field of the dead decks going around. Yes, um, I, that's I, when really Soren came out first. too. There was a really nice mono black Soren. He was great. Yeah, but he wasn't super strong though. No, he he, I, I mean he was good. Um, yeah, he was definitely good. But yeah, like nobody plays him now. That's for sure. Yeah. But I just really hope. Sorry, oh, buddy. and M twenty was also agent of treachery too, which I hope he gets the ban hammer. I wonder what's gonna happen. That's so the so the ban list is they're making an announcement on Monday. Yeah, and they're also gonna talk about companions too. I wonder. If oh gonna, yeah. I because they they specifically mention the announcement's also gonna mention the companion mechanic. Yeah. So I wonder, are they just gonna ban companion altogether? I don't know. What like, like that would be huge. Has anything like that ever happened before where they're like, we need to address this mechanic entirely? The only thing that's come close would be I wanna say affinity. Do you know what affinity is? No. 
Um, affinity is um, uh, it has to deal with artifacts. So there, oh. I think it was during the Mirrodin block, the first Mirrodin block back in the day. Uh huh. Um, like you'd be able to play, like let's say um, you play a card, and a card could cost cheaper depending on how many artifacts you had out in play. Mm -hmm. Um, Mirrodin had a set of basic lands that were artifact lands, mm -hmm. um, for one for each color. And they banned those cards like shortly after the set came out because it made affinity way too strong. Oh. Because think about it, when we, you're just playing and you could play those basic lands as, as many as you wanted or four of each copy. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Wow. But but they didn't ban the mechanic. I mean, right. It, it, I mean, there, there's definitely mechanics they don't print anymore like infect or storm mm -hmm. because they're just super strong yes but there, there hasn't know. been a mechanic like this that is completely changed the way magic is played yeah i'm really interested to see what happens i'm yeah. i'm i don't know i think agent agent of treachery will be banned yeah and i would not be surprised if fires of adventure invention get banned too you think fires is gonna get banned well look at the if you look at the metagame for standard right now it's all fires decks and agent of treachery everywhere yeah but i don't like but but so has the fires of invention deck changed like people have been playing that well yeah it's changed because um, it changed with ikoria the, yeah the the new planeswalker luca uh -huh. um, he's able to get creatures out for free. And guess what creature they're getting out for free? Agent of Treachery. Well, yeah, I know Agent of Treachery. Like, yeah, I think Agent of Treachery should be banned for sure. But I just don't know about Fires. Well, Fires allows you to play free magic. I know, you know? but but it's powerful. But, like, is it completely oppressive? No. I mean, if it... I guess it would depend. I guess it really depends on what they say Monday. Yeah. You know, I mean, I don't know. But people have been playing it for this long. Why would they ban it now? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. I Asian of Treachery. I've never liked that card. I have like three copies of it too. Why? I opened so many packs with it. I hate it. Um. But I don't yeah, know. It's, I'm. It's I think that maybe a, Winota is will get banned and not Asian of Treachery. Well, Possibly. I feel like, well, Winota doesn't feel. No, Winota's strong, but she doesn't feel that strong if they were to ban Agent of Treachery. That's the only like hugely problematic one. You think? The only I card, so. yeah. I, yeah, because she can only get a human card. Now, I think Agent of Treachery would not be so bad if there wasn't so many easy ways to cheat him out. Yeah, and because if, because he's expensive to cast. So yeah. Yeah, he costs seven mana to cast, and right. ramp is so easy to get in yeah. this standard right now. Yeah, and like you said, like just bringing stuff onto the battlefield without paying for it, like that's what's making it really obnoxious yeah. um pretty much yeah mr kitten loves agent of treachery it's like <laughs> his favorite card in the entire game <laughs> um it's to be expected he's evil it's it's official he is evil i hate it yeah yeah but i'm really interested to see what's gonna happen especially with the companion mechanic i just don't know what's that what that what is what i don't know i don't know what's gonna happen so do you want to bring up the secret layers real quick yeah let's do they, it they dropped how many secret five five secret yes five five uh, secret layers um, they all I, I don't i don't know Wh which one or do you want to mention all, all the ones that they brought out uh yeah let me let me pull it up here. So now this is, okay, they're like advertising this as their summer super drop. So do you think yeah. this is going to be like the only secret layers they release all summer? Probably not. Let's be honest. Yeah, I, 
I, I think they'll probably release like single secret layers. Like, but not a whole month. set. Yeah. 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 Like maybe at the end of June, they'll announce another one or something. Yeah. Um, so there's the full sleeves, the tattoo pack. Uh, can you feel with a heart of steel? Ha. That one's funny. Oh, yeah. That's a bunch of artifact creatures. Um, yep. The path not traveled. Now that's that's all of the planes, a bunch of planeswalkers. Yeah, and, and alternate lives or whatever. It, all the cosplayers. Uh, yes, that was really cool. Up. That was really cool. Uh, there's the mountain go set, which is oh funny. That's funny. And then or there's lighting. oh my god, ornithological studies. That's the one. I'm Why did you make me that. say that? You got you. You said it just fine. Okay. Logical. Okay. Okay. I I, I, I think tried. I like the the birds one the most. Yeah. Life. So I really like the birds one. Um, the art I like the bird like the art style on those. It looks kind of like old mm -hmm. fashioned like animal learn about animals book art. I mm -hmm. don't know. I really like it. Um, the gilded goose is in there, and I. I need that for my Corvald uh, commander Ooh, deck. Yeah, I do. You should probably get Birds of Paradise with that, too. What does Birds of Paradise do? Oh, it's a mana it's, thing. Yeah, it's a mana dork. You just tap it to add one mana of any color. Gotcha. It, it's a really good one, too, for EDH. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I have heard people talk about that card before, so obviously it's decent. It's okay. It's yeah, decent. um, the Mountain Go one I really like. I'm not like super into mono red or lightning bolts, but the arts on those are really cool. I like those. Yeah, they are. I, I really like the art. Yeah, um, the Path Not Travel, the Planeswalkers one, like those are so cool because the Planeswalkers are just like these different characters of themselves. Yeah. Which I think yeah, is like, super like interesting. They made a Johnny, like a superhero. Yeah. Domery Raid, a cowboy. Yep. A uh, cameo, like Indiana Jones or something. <laughs> yeah. And Braska is like a prom queen or something. Yes. Or... Yes. <laughs> it's great. It's great. I I like that one a lot. Um, the the can you the feel tattoo. with a heart of steel? I'm. Honestly, oh, yeah. I just don't really care about that one. That's my least favorite. Sorry. I just... I, mean, I don't... The only card that I'd even want out of it would be Walking Ballista, but... Eh. Like, I don't, I don't care about those cards. Or yeah, cards. I don't care about them. I'm so sorry, but I just don't. Um, the, the Full Sleeves one, I love the art on those. I, I love that tattoo art style. That looks so cool. Oh, is it what card that their ink moth next is? Yeah, I really like the Eternal Witness one. The Eternal Witness is probably my favorite art. Yeah, yeah out of that set. Too. Um, but Blood Artist, I'm pretty sure I have that in my Corval deck. So. Yeah, I think you do. So you probably need to buy it. Probably need to buy that one and the. I bird. do. I I probably just need to buy all of them. <laughs> Why not? Uh. I'm just kidding. I don't want to spend the money for it. I know. I know. I I really enjoy collecting these alternate art cards. Like, even if I don't play them, I I like them. I like collecting yeah. them. No, they're, they're um, super sweet. Did you ever get the, uh, the um, was it the Women's Month one? I did not get that one. No, that one I passed on. Um... I have the, I got like the original five ones, yeah. like the the original set. I got that for Christmas when it came out. And then I have the rats one and I think that's it actually. I think those are the only ones I have. But, um... Okay. Efren says so buy 20 like, full sets so you can get four play sets of the fetches. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So so if you buy all the five sets, the super drop or whatever, right. you get one fetch land. Yes, it, yep. Which is, yeah, that's pretty dumb. 
I mean, yeah. it's cool that they're adding a fetch land, but literally having to buy all five of them to get one fetch land? Yeah. That's... I think it's uh, just I mean... an incentive. Like, it's just a bonus yeah. if you buy them all rather than this is the way you can get fetch lands. That's not the point of it. I think it's just supposed to be like, you're awesome. You bought all five of them, so you get a free mm -hmm. fetch land. Yeah. But I just don't yeah. even want to talk about the fetch lands because I just cannot stand the outrage over it anymore, honestly. I just, I don't, since I don't play Modern Legacy anymore, I don't care about fetches. And I mean, yeah, fetches are good in Commander, but eh. Not necessary for Commander. Yeah. At all. Not really. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I, there's a couple of these I really like, and I'll probably get one or two of them for sure. But, um, yeah, yeah I, I yeah, like I collecting them, so it's kind of, yeah, my... if there's one that I will get, it'll be the birds. Yeah, that one's pretty cool. I like, I like the art on those. I think it's yeah. really pretty. For sure. Um, Godzilla Lands shipping one. Oh, you know what? Mr. Kitten got the Godzilla Lands one, but we haven't gotten that one in. Oh, okay. I yeah, didn't... I forgot to order. I forgot to buy those. And in, and then when I remembered to buy it, it was already all sold it's out. too late. Yeah, you missed it. Yeah. Mm. So sad. Um, so let's move on and play some games. Yes. Okay, let's do it. So, we have a couple of games to play tonight uh the first one is this is one of the um stream challenge games that we're gonna try it's called one for mom's fridge so we're gonna draw a picture um so what we need we need help from chat chat we need you to choose two of your favorite creatures from icoria lair of behemoths uh, then we're going to draw a monster that is a hybrid monster of the two creatures. So Zuby and I are going to draw this together. And <laughs> I'm going to draw one half of the creature. And Zuby's going to draw the other half of the creature. So in chat, we need you all to tell us some of your favorite creatures from Ikoria Lair of Behemoths. And we'll pick two of them. And then we're yes. going to just do a wild, wild mix of... Whatever it might be. Luminous Brood Moth and Brokos. Now, do we get to look at pictures of the creatures or do um, we have to try to draw it from memory? I'm definitely looking at pictures. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pulling up Scryfall right now. Uh Luris, that would be a fun one. And Shore Shark? Oh god. Uh oh Obosh and Winoda? No, a creature, not a human. <sighs> Come on, pack crap fever. Come on, Efren. Literally the worst. Um, I think Luminous Broodmoth is probably a good one. Yeah, I think so. That that could be that could and, be one. And what's the other one we should do? Okay, I, I'm picking Luminous Broodmoth for my half of the creature. So you pick the other one for your half. Um, so you got the moth. Yeah. Um yeah. I'll do the shore shark. Oh my god, so we're gonna do a we're gonna do a moth shark. Okay, we're doing yes. it. The pouncing shore shark, but I wanna do the I wanna try to do the alternate art, the comic book art. Oh of god. It. Is there an alternate art of the luminous brood moth? Yes, there is. Is it does it have a different name though? Mothra? Mothra? Oh, is it? Is it only the? I thought there was another one besides Mothra. Oh no, no, yeah, it is just Mothra. Okay. Okay, it still is just a moth. Okay. So it doesn't really look that much different. Um. Okay. So let me pull up. Um. Let me change my screen here. Okay. Hold on a second. We are going to. Oh, look, we've got Zuby on full screen. Oh, no. Hi. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, we did it. Um, So, my, my camera is actually here in the bottom. 
So I'm I'm in this. I guess I'll just leave it. It's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, whoops. Okay, here we go. Okay. Luminous Bird Month. Okay, do you want to go first? For make the body? Uh, yeah. Well, hold, I guess, should it have a shark head? <laughs> yeah, definitely. I think so. All right. I'll try my best to draw this. Oh, God. Can we? Okay. I was like, I don't see it yet. Oh, God. What's that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It's the shark head. <laughs> and it's got spikes on the back of it. <laughs> Where's the head part, though? It's right here. He's a hammerhead. Right? Oh, oh, he's looking at us. He's a hammerhead shark. Yeah. Okay. And look, there's a smile. Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. I gotcha. That's good. That's decent. Okay, are you done with your part? Are you done with your part? Sure, sure. <laughs> Afrin says this is a family show, Zuby. What are you trying to, yeah. you trying to insinuate? Yeah, what are you trying to insinuate? I don't know what you're talking about. All right, so I'm going to draw the moth part. How do I do this? Oh, God. Um, okay, oh, what are... Add some antennae to him or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are the spikes on your thing's back? They're like crystals or something. Okay. Do you want me to get rid of them? No, I don't. Okay. I don't. Okay. Here's the intent. Here's the antennae. How do you? Antennae. How do you say? Antennae. <laughs> how do you say multiple antenna? Antennae. Antennae. Okay. Antennae. 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 Sorry. Yeah, it really did. It really did. Okay, now we're gonna go with wings. <laughs> oh yeah, I do. Okay, we're gonna make some real. Um, Oh, wait, why isn't... Okay, there it goes. Okay, here's a Insect wing. Legs. No, this is a wing. Um, and this then... Some masterful art here. Okay, I'm really trying. Okay, that's a, that's a big wing, but it's decent, right? Yeah. Okay. Um... Oh, oh, I can watch you through the website, that's right. I was watching the stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watch through the website. Um, okay, so we're actually going to get, like, really detailed here and just, like, draw on here just, like, the actual thing. Oh, nice. Yeah, ooh. That... This is so good, right? Why hasn't Watsy hired you to make cards? I don't know, cards. but, like, after this... They for sure should. Okay, what else does the moth need? You got the antennae. Antennae. <laughs> antennae. <laughs> um, the the little insect arms and legs, because because if you look, because the the moth is showing the belly of the moth. Oh, um, okay. And you see like the little the little arms. I'm all. not sure it, these wings could physically support that shark. Should I have made my shark bigger? No. Maybe no, your shark is great. Your shark is great. I'm going to just He's add smiling. on. He's happy. I'm going to add on to the wings. How about that? Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, now we're going to make little arms. Um. Oh, God. Okay. He's a bug, so he has like six <laughs> arms. <laughs> Six arms. Does that Take look like one. arms? Not really. So I did forget to. Um... Yes. Oh, how would I do that? No, I don't think I can. Just do it. I, I sort. I sort of want to redo his mouth. What? Yeah. Oh. I want to show. Should <laughs> I not show his teeth or something? Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Wait, no, he... Do show his, change his mouth. Yeah, change his mouth for sure. How do I, okay, there's. There's the, a little eraser. Yeah, that's yeah. not a shark's mouth. 
Um. All right. Hey, food time. What's up? You did get here just in time. We are we are drawing a. What's your creature, Zuby? Oh my God, he's mad. A shore shark. It's Housing the sh shore shark. It's the shore shark, luminous brood moth. Look, I gave him some angry. Oh God, this is yeah, this is good. Um, I'm gonna do these little fuzzy. Oh, oh, I can draw while you're drawing. I'm gonna do these Ew. little like fuzzy things on his head. How about that? Is, did I go Should too? I draw did I go his too far? Tail? Where could I draw his tail? Behind the wing? Below the wing? Well, because let's say if I draw it below the wing. <laughs> yeah, actually, I think that's kind of fine. Be like that. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. It's just hanging down. Yeah. This is a family show, Zuby. It is. I'm not doing anything bad. <laughs> oh my god, there, it's there are, so like, cute. He is, he's got little spikes on his tail. Yes! Well. That's good. <laughs> this is so good. I love it. Honestly, I, I I think I think I'm done. I think I'm good too. Yeah, this is thank you, chat, for this giving us great. this idea. This has been so great. Everybody take a screenshot, because like you're gonna wanna remember this forever. I'm taking a screenshot right now. Forever, oh. we are back. Okay, I gotta bring Zuby back. That was so great. That, that was great. That was. Oh, um, let me save that picture. Zuby, you're back. Yes. So we got a stream challenge done. Um. So I'll have to give away some codes soon. For sure. Once oh, I get. I've got a crap ton of codes I need to give away too. Oh my gosh. You do. You should give some away while you're doing your um, EDH streams. I know. I need to remember. I always forget. I need to remember that. Yeah. Um, that's why I started doing a little bit of give giveaways too. Like I gave away um, some gems and. Oh yeah. And um, some codes the other day. That was awesome. Um. Yeah. Okay. So let's EDH players don't play arena. Some I do. Play arena. Yeah. Some do. Uh, okay, let's play our other game. I'm super excited about this one. Okay, this game is called Booster Sleuth. And this was made up by Wizards of the Coast, right? Or some of the yeah. Wizards of the Coast employees. Yeah, by Gavin and I can't remember the other lady's name. I can't remember her name. Yeah, so um, in this game... We will open a pack, and we're using Ikoria packs. And so we have to guess what the other person's rare card is, right? Is it, or it's any card, right? You can pick any well, card. Yeah, hold on. This opens and removes any lands, then they shuffle the cards and keep one at random and hand the rest over to the. T so I, I think what we'll do here. Um, instead of just doing the rare card, we'll do like what they said. Okay, so I'm starting to remember this now. So we'll open up the pack. Uh -oh. We'll take out the land and token, and we'll shuffle it up. And you show the card to the chat, and I see the card, and then you have to work on guessing it. And you'll shuffle that card back in. Okay. Right, I think. Wait. Or wait. No. Hold on. No, they show. No. No. You. You keep the card. Separate. That you chose. Yeah, but you have to put it face down so you don't know what it is. Gotcha. Okay, so I'll so I'll open my pack first. Since you seem okay. to have a better grip of how to do this. Barely. <laughs> and I don't. And this is one of those Japanese packs, so it's like really difficult to open. My pack is made in My pack is made in Canada. Oh. All right. All right. Or no, USA. Sorry. It's the same thing, right? Canada, USA. 
pretty much. Yeah, I, I use I use the little notch to open it. So I can look at the cards. No, I can't. No, you can't. Okay, so I saw the token, but I'm going to take that out. Yeah, you take the token and land out. Okay, I'm going to make and sure then... I don't see the stream. So I'm okay. clicking off of that. Okay, this is the token. Okay. Ooh. Look how cute! I know I saw that one. Okay, and then the land should be next, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's a non-basic land, so that's fine. Okay, so I take those out. Then I'm going to shuffle. You, yeah, you shuffle them up, and then you just pick... Maybe shuffle them up face down, and then just pick one at random and show yeah. it to the... I'm not looking computer. at them. I'll have to write it down what it is. Okay. I'm going to be so bad at this. That's okay. All right. So I'm just going to pick the one off the top here. All right. Don't look at it. Remember. Now, chat, you know don't tell me what it is either. Okay. So. Okay. I got it. Okay. So I'm going to set right. it face down off to the side. All right, let me pull up Scryfall and just, just so I have the card. Um... Sure pulled up on my end here okay okay all right so now you have to start trying to guess the converted mana cost color card type and the number of words in the name how many fucking words are <laughs> or letters? so i can look at all of the rest of the cards in in my in my deck right yes yes Okay. And you have to, I think you have to show me a card to see, like, like you'll pick a card and I'll let you know, and I think I got to answer yes or no, like if it's the same converted mana cost, color, you got to ask me that or something. Okay. So the point of this game is not for me to guess what card it it is, but I have to correctly guess four facts about the card. Yeah, so no, so you reveal a card to me, and I tell you how many of the four facts that card and mystery card have in common. So, okay. Oh, okay, so hold on. Let me write down the number of words and wait, oh, number of words in the name. So not number of letters. So hold on, and then the converted mana cost. Uh huh. The color. color. Uh huh. And the card type. Card type. Okay. okay, so the, okay, okay. so those are the things I have to guess about the card. Converted mana cost, color, card type, and the number of words in the name. Not what the card yeah. is. I mean, you can try to guess what the card is sure. um, if you know it. But I tell you, so you show me a card from your deck and I'll let you know how many of that card has in common with the card you chose. Okay. Okay, okay. I, I think I'm starting to understand this now. Yeah, me too, me too, me too. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to pick up my first card, and, okay, the detective will look at, then choose and reveal cards from the pack one at a time. When each card is revealed, the secret keeper tells the detective, that's me, how no, many- I'm the secret keeper, you're how, the detective. How many of the four facts that card and the mystery card have in common? Okay, so the first card we're going to look at is Essence Symbiote. So you have to tell okay. me how many of the four facts this card and the secret card have in common. All right. So essence. So I'm gonna have to go up and scry fall too. So sure. It's essence symbiote. Three. It has three things in common. Yes. Okay. Then the detective may try to either guess the four facts or reveal another card for more clues. Okay, so it has a lot of things in common with this. Yes, three things in common. So you're only ever you're only ever allowed to tell me what are how many facts it has in common. I can't like ask you which yeah. ones it is, right? I, I think so, yeah. I think okay. you just show me another card and I tell you how many things it has in common. Okay, I'm going to the next card. It is Blitz of the Thunder Raptor. Hold on. 
splits of the Thunder Raptor. Yeah. Um. Oh, so how many things it has in common? So yes. One thing in common. <gasps> oh, okay. So these are different okay. card types. One's a creature and one's an instant. Um, the they are not the same color. The only thing that these two cards have in common is their converted mana cost. So converted mana cost has to be one of the facts. Right? Wait, so do I tell you if you guess correctly? Like one of the facts or or I don't I don't know. Or no, the game ends <laughs> if they we're so Shit, bad at this. I, I don't... So, um... I guess I need more what? clues. I think I need to have all four. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna so, keep trying. I don't know. I'm gonna keep this trying. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, so we're on... We're looking at now heightened reflexes. It is an instant. So how many things it has in common? Has uh -huh. one thing in common. Uh... Okay, so this has the same number of words as Essence Symbiote. So I'm guessing that my mystery card has a converted mana cost of two and two words in the name so far. Okay, we're going we're gonna to get another clue here. Um, Momentum Rumbler. Momentum Rumbler. It's ah, a, I spelled that completely wrong. It's a creature dinosaur. Um. So it's converted mana cost color card type. Okay. Number of words. Two things in common. <gasps> okay. So I think it has the same card type because these are both creatures. And I think it has it has the two words in the name, because these are both two words in the name. But it's not the, I not, I'm not getting the color yet. So I think that the mystery card is neither one of these colors. So I need a different color other than red. Okay, how about this one, Cub Warden? That's my rare, by the way. Ooh, it's not a bad rare. Cub Good Warden. rare in draft. Yeah. Um one thing in common. <gasps> ah, okay. So I think that is probably the creature type. Is that it's a creature. Um but we got a new color, so it's not white either, right? Okay, let's how about this one? Flycatcher giraffid. Flycatcher, uh, two things in common. Okay, so the word, the number of words, and the card type. I need to find a blue card. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna look until I see a blue card. I don't think I have to wait to reveal these in a row. Okay, how about um, Chris? Yeah, because you can look at the card. Yeah. How about crustacean? Um, two things in common. Okay, so I think the mystery card is has converted mana cost two. So hold on, are you try, are you guessing? This is my thing? final guess. Yes, this okay. is my final guess. I'm going to reveal who is the murderer because I'm the detective. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing that the card has a converted mana cost of two. The card type is creature. The color is blue. And the number of words in the name is two. You are so, so, so close. I'm not right? No. Why? There's like one thing that's missing. Oh, no. What is Do it? You wanna... I lost. Like, that's it. Yeah. So flip, flip your card over and you'll see. Oh. Cunning Nightbonder? 
You didn't have the black. How, how could I have known that? <laughs> you oh, you never showed me a single black card. But if I had and you would have said it had something in common, then I would have just thought it was a black card. This was a troll pack. I never could have guessed that this was a dual color. Never. Yeah, wow. it's tough. It's, it's, that's tough. That was tough. No, but you got everything else completely right. It's just the color part. Yeah, that, that was a bit tough. Right oh, there. dang. Well, you, you won, so you get to pick an emote for everybody to spam in chat. They get to spam, um... Pog champ, Pog <gasps> champ, Pog champ. Do it, Pog champ. Pog Spamming champ. it, spam Pog champ. Oh my gosh, I never would have guessed blue and yeah, black. That, that, that was tough. That you did really good though. I mean, once I figured out how to do it, I was like, okay, I think I got this. Are we ready for mine? We are. We're ready for yours. We got some Pog champs up in chat. Nice. Okay. All right, so um, oh, so, so I've got an American one. Um, oh, so it should be in the regular order, or the order we're used to. Wow. <laughs> okay. So I'm shuffling it up. Um, when I'm getting ready to reveal, I'm gonna minimize Discord here. Okay. Um, and just let me know when I can put it down. Okay. Do, 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 do. And we will reveal. Hold on. Let me minimize Discord here. Can you see the card? Um. Yes. Okay. Let, let me know when it's good. Hold on. Let me type it in. <laughs> okay. Got it. Okay, I got it. Okay. Yep. I'm I'm putting it down now. Okay. All right, right let me pull up the uh... Don't tell him what it is, chat. Don't do it. Uh-oh. Did I lose my internet this time? Hello, we're back. Hello. Sorry, I don't I don't know what happened. Like, yeah. Your internet went down and my internet went down at the same time. <laughs> that was That was fun. Not. Just kidding. It was yeah, not fun. So we're gonna have to choose a different card because, because by the time Zuby my cheated. internet came back up, I saw Twitch chat and I saw the card on the delayed stream, so Oh no! that's fine Th that's yeah, okay so let me minimize twitch chat here um okay let me know when you're ready okay i'm ready all right i'm gonna show my new card um yep okay got it all right now well, don't pull up twitch up. yet no i'm just gonna pull up discord i'm gonna ignore the chat and all that so. okay okay all right so Let's see here. Um, perimeter Sergeant. Um, okay, I'm going to pull these up in Scryfall, too, because it's just kind of hard to see them, you know? Yeah. Perimeter Sergeant. Um, okay, so I need to tell you how many things it has in common. Yes. It has... One. One thing in common? Yes. Okay. okay. Bristling boar. Bristling boar. Uh, how do you spell bristling? Just kidding, huh? <laughs> <laughs> sort of. Okay, it has... Two things in common. Two things in common, okay. So. Let's 
thwart the enemy. Thwart the enemy. It has um diet color converted It has zero things in common. All right, I'm going to rip it up. Throw it away. Zero things. So it's definitely not an instant. Doesn't have three words to the name, and it's not green. E, that's correct. All of it. Um, ferocious, ferocious Tigerilla. tigerilla. Um, okay. This one, it has... Three things in common. So it's a creature. Three things. Um, so that one had two. Oh, shit. <laughs> I wonder if the converted mana cost is four. Hmm. 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 This cat ape is kind of freaky. Let's do this. The glowstone recluse. Okay. It has... One thing in common. It's got to be a creature. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Let's do this one. Uh, what is it? Shredded sails? Yeah, shredded sails. Sorry. Okay. It has... Oh, oops. Um, it has... Hold on. Yeah. Work with me here, Scryfall. Okay, it has... Uh, one thing in common. All right, so I think it's red. I don't think it... Oh, my God. Um... I think the converted mana cost is four. It's gotta be red. Hmm. Okay, um... Or does it? All right, lurking dead eye. <gasps> lurking dead eye. Um, it has two things in common. Oh my god, this is tough. I know, right? And what's also really tough is the rest of my cards in my pack. Yes. Okay, so I don't think it has two words or three words in the name because all the rest of the cards in my pack have two words. I think it's a cre it's definitely got to be a creature. I think it's red. Creature red. Creature red. Um, uh, four converted mana costs. Well, if it's not three and it's not two, one word in the in the name. Is that your final guess? Yes. Yes, you got it. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I know, right? You never said uh, a card with one word. Oh, this is literally the only card with one word in it. <laughs> yep. And it was the special art, too. Porcu Parrot. Yeah, all my other cards had two words and all the names. Oh, my God. You were never going to guess that. Like, with the card's help. But you used it with the power of deduction. 
that is that was fun. That was um, that's freaking tough. Yeah, that's it tough. is right. Yeah, that's that's difficult. I got a garrison I cat, by the way. It's so cute. What? I got a garrison cat. I got a Sabai Triome, the Mardu Triome. Ooh, that. nice. That was, that was fun. Yeah, I that was fun. Be, I'd like to do this again for like the next set, core set. Yeah. See if it's any tougher, because um, maybe with this set, there's too many creatures, because I feel like we have a higher chance of picking a creature. Yeah, possibly. For sure. That was fun, though. That was um, that was a fun way to sort of, I don't know, like we played Guess the Rare, and that yeah. was sort of a different take on guessing a card out of the pack. So I liked it. Yeah, it was fun. It, it was tough. Uh, what did Ephraim yeah. say? I have an offer for that Triumph on Card Sphere right now. Ooh, um, I'll take no less than $30 for it, Ephraim. Ooh, how desperate are you, Ephraim? How desperate are you for that Triumph, Ephraim? He needs it. He needs it. He needs it. <laughs> okay, Gollum. <laughs> oh my he gosh. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's a pretty good Gollum. I used to do a lot better when I was younger. Damn, it's still pretty. It's pretty legit. I'm gonna have to admit it. Um, I didn't take up smoking, so my throat has gotten worse. You didn't take up smoking? Yeah. That's a good thing, though. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, mm, okay. Um, but I think that's it for our episode tonight. That was fun. That that was um we talked about a lot of stuff. We really did. We talked about formats for like an hour. And then hot yoga. Yeah, we talked about hot yoga for <laughs> some time too. I do not I recommend know. hot yoga to anyone. Yeah. Sorry. Um, so where can everybody find you and all of your content? Um, they can find me on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, and Spotify. They can reach out to me on Twitter at Magic with Zuby, on Instagram at Magic underscore with underscore Zuby, and an email at mtgzuby at gmail.com. And they can find me on YouTube now, I guess. Um, I guess. Yeah, and I think that's it. Oh, and my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Magic with Zuby. Sweet. Um, yeah, everybody oh, knows where you? to find me. Just Pixie Kitten Plays. Just search it all over the internet. And that's where I'll be. I'll be there. Um, Will so, you? Yeah, I'll be there. I promise. <laughs> yeah, so thank you everyone for watching. Um, we yes, hope to see you. you. We'll probably have another episode in another two weeks. And yeah, we'll probably talk about Corset 2021. It's going to be exciting. Like, it's here. It's happening. Yeah. And probably the ban and restricted announcement, too. Ooh, yeah. We're looking forward to that. Um, it looks like Sky Bills is streaming right now. So we are going to send our chat over to her. Let's do it. Have a great night, everybody. Um, we'll see you soon. Hopefully, we'll be playing some EDH soon on Zuby's channel. So yes, check that out. Bye. Bye.